If you are looking for an interactive dog toy, this one just might be the one for you. PetSafe sent me the Ricochet Electronic Dog Toy for our testing and review, and I'm super excited to tell you about it. If you are new here, my name is Stephanie, AKA Big Dog Mom, and on this channel, I provide information and resources that help you and your big dog live your best life together. Before we get into the, the nitty gritty details of the Ricochet Electronic Dog Toy by PetSafe, I wanna let you know that PetSafe did send me the Ricochet Electronic Dog Toys for our testing and review, but they are not paying me in order to make this video and they have not previewed my comments and my thoughts. Everything in this video is genuinely from me and Junior and Sully. So you're gonna get a pretty honest take of what we thought about the Ricochet electronic dog toy by PetSafe. Okay, so before I open the box, I am going to show you an unboxing as I'm talking here so you can see the details of what these look like and how, how they actually work. But essentially th what this is, is it's a series of two balls that actually communicate communicate with one another. Then it takes three AAA batteries in order in, in each of the balls and you turn it on, they will squeak and make different different sounds. And so basically when one goes off, then a few seconds later the other one will go off. And the idea is that the dog is basically kind of going from one to the other. And so it's just a very interactive dog toy. Super cute idea. I was very intrigued when we got this. So I was excited to try it out. I mean as far as putting the two balls together, putting the batteries in. It was super simple and immediately they worked and the dogs absolutely went berserk. <laughs> so it was actually, it was really funny to see them kind of cock their head and like they didn't really understand what was going on with the the squeak and the sound in the in the balls. So I would say the sound itself was very intriguing and the dogs definitely reacted to it. So that was super cute. As you can see from the footage, Junior and Sully absolutely loved this these dog toys as soon as they came out of the box. They absolutely went berserk over them and it was pretty comical. I actually had to take the balls away because the dogs were just so bonkers. <laughs> but as with all of my reviews on this channel, I want to give you a sense of how we sort of graded the Ricochet Electronic Dog Toys by PetSafe. So we use four different categories. So I grade things on a scale of one to five in the categories of quality, durability, affordability, and our drool score. And the drool score is basically what, what we thought about the dog toys. So specifically Junior and Sully, but myself as well. So let's take that first category first. So quality. So I would say the quality was actually pretty good. I would say moderate. It's not the best I've seen, and but it's certainly not the worst. So we gave them a quality score of three. And you'll see why in just a minute when I pull the balls out of the box. So these have this is what you've been seeing. So that was our unboxing. So you saw them when they were brand new. I'm going to show you what they look like now after several weeks of playing with them. But you're going to have to wait till the end for that. <laughs> okay, the next category is durability. So we gave the PetSafe Ricochet Electronic Dog Toy a score of two. And this is primarily because I have two giant breed Mastiffs who are very, very hard on toys. And so it was almost unfair to put these in their mouths and expect that the toy would be able to hold up. So we gave them a score of two for durability. And I'm gonna show you what this looks like in just a minute. But as far as durability goes, I think that what I would recommend is if you have a small to medium sized dog or even a large dog that is pretty easy on toys and doesn't really set out to destroy them, probably be okay with something like this. But for a giant breed Mastiff, again, that have very strong jaws, I, we gave this a score of two. As far as affordability, we also scored this a two for affordability. The price of the Ricochet electronic dog toys are, uh, on Amazon, they're $54.95. I will put links down in the description so that you can kind of price shop, but the price currently on Amazon is $54.95. So for an electronic dog toy and something that's interactive and hands-free, that's not a terrible price. I think that it's justified by the uniqueness of the product. And truly, I think the quality of the product 
justifies that price. The issue is where you look at alternatives. So what other toys could you get for $54.95? Or how many toys could you get for that amount of money? And for me, it would be the question of how many toys could I buy for that amount of money that would actually last over the long term. And so that was kind of where I wrestled with affordability and where I would where I would rate it. And lastly, what did the dogs think about the Ricochet electronic dog toy? We gave this product a score of four and a half out of five for the drool score. And the reason is the dogs absolutely love these balls. They go absolutely berserk. And in one second, I'm gonna turn them on so you can see what happens. Junior is sleeping in the other room. And Sully, you can see, is quite, uh, quite sleepy. So, so, but we gave it a score of four and a half out of five. And so here's the reason why I deducted half a point. Really, the deduction was primarily because Junior, uh, Sully specifically, this is Sully, he specifically was not quite sure what to think. And so he often will bark at it. it not really sure what to do and I don't know I haven't figured out if he's barking because he wants the toy that's squeaking that's in Junior's mouth or when his squeaks he's not sure about what to do with it we haven't totally figured it out but it is funny because the dogs go back and forth with the two balls where one has FOMO it wants the other's ball and I'll show you some of this footage as I'm talking here, but it is it was really funny to see the dogs interact with the two balls and they absolutely loved them. And so really it was just the confusion piece that kind of deducted half a point. So for them, it wasn't 100% clear, I think what they were supposed to do with it. And in addition to that, when you see the balls, you'll see they, I think they felt like because it was squeaking, they were supposed to chew it. I'm interpreting dog behavior from a human's perspective, but I think that they were a little confused with the sounds coming from it. And normally dog toys, they have to chew them to get the squeak. And so I don't know if they were just a little bit confused. I'm not sure. We'll have to ask Sully. Huh. So anyway, that's our drool score. So again, just in summary, we gave them a quality score of three, a durability score of two, an affordability score of two, and a drool score of four and a half out of five. So I want to share with you what this looks like in just a second, because I want to preface my ultimate recommendation for you with what this looks like when I pull these out of the box. If you have a giant breed dog that is a very powerful dog, this toy may not be the right one for you, but I'll let you decide that. I will say though, if you want something that's unique and different that your dogs will go crazy for, this and, and you are fine with spending a little bit more for it, I think this is a fantastic option for you. But let me just show you quickly how this how this works. Let's see if Junior comes in here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what these look like now after several weeks of of the dogs playing with them. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, as soon as it sounds, Junior's gonna come running in here. So before that happens, before that happens, oh, he's coming, he's coming. Junie, sit. You want the ball? Stay. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. This is what the balls look like after several weeks of playing with them. So as you can see, they are pretty well destroyed. <laughs> they do still work. So I'm gonna start them in just one second so you can see with this dog. So again, drool score, four and a half out of five. The dogs are absolutely bonkers over these balls. <laughs> so, um, but I do have to take them away because they get so crazy with them that they just are like crunching them in half. So again, not great in terms of durability, right? Yes, okay, so I'm gonna activate it. So basically you just push this little center button. <laughs> So, 
take this one? As you can see, the Ricochet electronic dog toys were a huge hit in our house. If you have a dog that's not a powerful chewer, but you're looking for something that's interactive and unique, I think maybe you take a look at these. I'll put links in the description below. And if you would like my list of the top 10 best dog toys for large breed dogs, click the link below. I'll put that, it's a blog post on my blog. And I think you'll find some really great options in there as well. If you have powerful chewers like Junior and Sully. All right, with that, thank you so much for, for watching. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye for now. The Ricochet electronic dog toys were a big hit in our house. Sorry. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, you're gonna have to sit over here. Junie, sit. Oh, 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 oh. This is why, this is why I'm not really sure about this. Come here. Here, Junie. Come here. So, as you can see, oh, oh, did he just rip a little piece off?